All right, it is here, the Nick Radio 5mm 1.2S. Let me just start the unboxing right away. Like I said, the trip to Japan, uh, the same video that I uploaded and I shot Jocelyn and I went, I went with my brother, I was actually looking to get back into Canon uh, because I did like the R5 that I used to use last summer. But when I saw the 24 to 70 and the 51 by 2, I just said to myself, that's kind of big and it's going to cost me. And Canon's actually expensive in um, map camera in Japan. It was actually going to cost me more to switch over from uh, Sony to Canon. I just wasn't feeling the uh, um, Sony camera system. Then I came back to Guam and then uh, I was telling my wife about Super Nintendo World and how it's super awesome and she actually wanted to go to uh, Japan to go to Super Nintendo World and I said sure uh, let's do it so we went again uh, the following week so I actually went to Japan twice in July thank you to Louis who sent me this we traded for the Sony A9 Mark II and the box to get damaged here as you can see from um, I don't know if you can see that from USPS here, the box got pushed in, but the lens itself is in perfect condition. The box itself, super nice. Okay, let me put this away. Here it is. 85 millimeter 1.2 S. All right, this feels, <laughs> Heavy already. Filter, 82 millimeters for the filter. Hood is supplied with it and the case, wow, 82 millimeters for the filter. That's pretty huge. So when I went back to Japan, and here I have with me the Z9, I'll mount it for you guys pretty soon. I was actually looking at the use prices for the Z9, and I was super surprised to find out that the Z9 use was going for like $3,300 plus the yen was weak. So I did the math and this and a 24 to 120 actually costed around $4,200 and the Z9 used in the US is going for around 4,500 um, used. So it's like I was getting um, a free 24 to 120. And I was like, you know, this is going against like small mirrorless camera but if I were to get like a prime lens, like the 51.2 or the E5 1.2, then it'll like pretty much balance out in the Z9. And I do miss, and I used to have the D3S, D4, and D4S. I used to have those cameras. Uh, camera shifting a little bit here um, for this top down, but I'm gonna try to keep this in frame. Right away, see the pouch looks like the i'm assuming what is this it's like a lens cloth i don't think this is the lens pouch all right so this was paid gonna cover up the person's information here but yes it retails for two thousand eight hundred dollars serial numbers on there okay matches the card user manual all on the top And the lens itself. I did see this in person in Japan. I was like, man, this is huge. This is a beast. And then the pictures that I was seeing online, I even downloaded some raw files. I was like, wow, this is this is unique. Very nice rendering. And Sony doesn't have 85 1.2. I believe only Canon and Nikon. Wow. There it is. Think below it is the lens pouch. I put it on my computer desk and I can hear doo, like a thud. Oh my god, this is the hood. Okay. Wow. I think they were saying this is like a hundred some millimeters. I'm not sure. This is huge. But thank you, Lewis. Great packing. Super nice. Uh, put this to the side. OK, 
Okay, this is the lens right here. So to continue the story, oh man, I'm taking it back by the actual size of just holding it in my hands. Let's get it out of the plastic bag. Oh my God, look at that. So yes, I traded my Sony A9 Mark II plus cash for this lens. And a lot of people are saying that the display is not shown here like the 50 millimeter won't be 2S. Oh my God, just to hold it, it's like, oh man, it's crazy. Super nice. So selling all my Sony gear, uh, around $5,500 for 200, have about 1,300 left. Um, must have forked out maybe a thousand. Um, oh no, sorry, my math is wrong. Uh, for 200 for this combo here, Sony gear sold was 5,500, uh, 1300 left, uh, forked out maybe a thousand more to get this prime, and I think it's worth it. Amazing portrait lens, and you know, this channel is all about portrait so let's just mount this turn to the right there we go huge two hands okay on the Z9. Sorry, camera shifting here. There we go. That's how it looks in the Z9. Turning it on. Let me see if I can shift the camera back. Okay, so now we're back. Go down to 1.2. Here we go, 1.2. Let's take a quick image here. It will help to set it on <laughs> autofocus. That's the only switch I see. And this custom button here. Focusing is not bad. I do hear. Here we go. Took a shot. Wow, that's pretty sharp. I do hear an autofocus motor. Let me see if you can, if you guys can hear it. It's still very quiet. Okay, here, maybe I can let you hear it. I don't know if you can hear that. But yeah, I, I mean, there's a lot of glass to move in here, huge amount. Another shot. This is crazy sharp at 1.2. Very nice though. I'm gonna get some Awesome portraits with this lens. Thank you guys for watching another unboxing. And if you haven't, please subscribe. I'm gonna be doing a model portrait shoot in the next video. Thank you.